G'day, I'm Kate Grarock. How are you? I am on beautiful Ewan country and I'm off for a solo hike. Today I'm just going to kind of follow a, I guess a formal hiking trail for a while and then I'm going to deviate off and just explore cliff lines and yeah, go off track, hopefully find a nice campsite near some, yeah, hopefully maybe a waterfall, who knows? <laughs> it's all a bit exploratory parts of this, so fingers crossed with that. Um, the weather is looking perfect, no rain for once, which is going to be lovely. Just get out there and enjoy some summer weather. Let's do it. This gorgeous plant is called mountain devil and if you've ever brushed up against it in the bush you'll <laughs> probably not forget the name. Mountain devil comes from the uh, spikes, they're quite <laughs> sharp little spikes that each leaf has. The other really cool thing with mountain devil is that there's a fair bit of nectar that gets held in these beautiful red flowers so um, soaking it in water or tapping it on your hand you can get a nice chunk of nectar especially early in the morning before the birds get to it and it's good sugary sort of hit. There we go. See that is sort of nice sort of just a tiny amount. There it is dripping off my finger. So that's the sweet nectar and it actually packs quite a punch. It's quite a, oh yeah, it's really sweet. It just tastes, I mean, there's not much flavor to it. It's just, you can really taste those sugars. It's beautiful. You can imagine if you just got a little pot of water and shook it in there and did that to several plants early in the morning when they're loaded with nectar and you could just have a really sweet sort of a early morning Gatorade perhaps. <laughs> Today I've decided to forego the ultralight food menu and I've gone a bit bulkier because it is just an overnighter so I'm going to enjoy the luxuries of leftovers and try and cook up a nice little meal tonight. See how I go with that. <laughs> Beautiful ditto. Oh, it's such a beautiful mountain that are just, you know, all around the south coast of New South Wales here. You can see it from so many different angles, from the beach, from many, many parts in the national park. So 
So for lunch today I've just got some little mini cucumbers and some leftover couscous that I made. Looks like there's a pretty epic boulder or rockfall that's come off this side of the mountain there. It's taken out a heap of trees. I guess given like the bushfires clearing a heap of the vegetation and then there's the epic proportions of rain that we've had would lead to a lot of yeah landslides and erosion happening. I'm just going to sit here and relax for a little bit and take it all in. It's such a calm day. But I think after lunch what I'm going to do is I'm going to head north for a little bit and just follow this cliff line along. It looks too interesting not to follow around for a little bit. I think the plan is to actually camp on one of the southern cliffs. <laughs> Little welcome swallows I think. <laughs> so beautiful. But I want to say a massive thank you to all my supporters. Um, the subscribers, they're just, uh, all your comments are just so beautiful to read. Uh, I've recently launched memberships and Patreons, so if you're keen to support me that way, that would be very much appreciated. This little dude, I think he wants to steal my lunch. I think it might be a small Cunningham stink skink. <laughs> you just come out from under my... Oh my god, he's pretty much up my pant legs. I'm such a brave soul. I've dropped a little bit of kushkus and he's sneaking in for it. Could you wait till I leave, buddy? <laughs> Hello. Wow, you're definitely not shy. Did you see he was shedding his skin? His little black feet flaps were still hanging on. <laughs> so I've just decided to move in away from the cliff a little bit to try and pick up a little bit of an easier path so that I don't get torn to shiver, shiver, smithereens with this banks here it is burnt banks here Oof. here we go this is looking a bit better It's so, so easy going once you find your little rock ledges, but there's sort of these intermediate patches between the rock ledges where you just get into the burnt, burnt vegetation and it's a little bit of a wiggly worm and hope that you find the quickest route <laughs> back to the rock ledge. stumbled across a little pool up here on the rocky ledge and I can hear a couple of species of frog. Crinia parasignifera, I think. And then Crinia signifera, the bop, 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 bop. That's pretty cool. What I might do is do a recording here for Frog ID.
like that little pool there I did a recording using Frog ID. That recording then gets sent to scientists who verify the frogs that I've heard and they can actually use it for really cool long-term studies and understand where our frog populations are, especially given the epic fires that have swept through the east coast of Australia and other parts. So whenever I'm out hiking, I always really love to just stop and at least do one or two little frog ID recordings. Well, that might do for my northern cliff line exploration. I want to find a really nice place to camp tonight, so I'm going to hightail it back to my lunch spot and then head south along the cliff, see if I can pick up a few waterfalls along the way. You've got to love wombats. They, they, um, you know, clear a path for you often. The problem is they're only about a foot high, so you've got to duck all the foliage that they, <laughs> they don't clear. Radio. I'm sneaking back off the trail. Wish me luck for wide open rocky ledges then I can just have smooth sailing to camp. Uh, we'll see how we go and uh, I'll take you along for the ride, hey? <laughs> I think I can see the falls oh, over there somewhere on that rock. That's where I want to get to. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's always just before you get to camp that the bush gets nice and thick. <laughs> Why don't I do on track hikes? No, no, this is gonna be okay. This is fine. I think it's it's not too bad. It's always uh, a lot of mental load here because. It could be that just, you know, 10 metres that way or 10 metres that way, there's a beautiful rock ledge. But when I'm stuffed in the foliage here, I really can't tell. I mean, I've looked at the map. This is meant to be clear, but hey, I think I might push up that way a little bit. See if I can get a little bit clearer. This is the mildly soul-destroying... <laughs> uh, I've been going about half an hour and I've done, let's say about 250 metres, so... I'm going to keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> it's just uh, a tangle. But I am making progress and I hope it gets easier. <laughs> I guess the other thing I've got to be mindful of is if it keeps up like this, tomorrow my plan to continue on and join up another trail might not be possible, and so I will have to come back this way. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm just going to tough it out. I'm just going to keep ploughing ahead. It's only 750 metres to go, 750 metres to go, so even if it takes me another hour, I've still got a fair whack of daylight. Well, that's where I want to be. <sighs> Can I get there? <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. Ah, took a little tumble. Got a stick in the leg. Where is it? There. Get it out. Youch. Pull it out. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Check that out. That was in my leg. I 
thought that hurt. I thought it was just a stick jabbing me, but ooh, that is gross. Ooh, yeah, there's a bit there too. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doesn't hurt too much, but might have to clean that up and put a bit of bedadine on it. <laughs> I made it. Oh my gosh. So I've had a little chance to explore the area here and it's really beautiful little waterfall and creek and I've had a little freshen up and I've decided that, call me crazy, but I'm actually going to push on a little bit further than when the where I wanted to go today because there's not many very good campsites here. It's all, well, <laughs> it's not flat at all. Um, and I just think, I mean, I might live to regret this <laughs> but hopefully it does open up a touch here and I can get out there and get you know a bit of a view and a bit of flatter ground I'm currently in the swamp every second or third step I drop a couple of feet <laughs> Um, I'm going to head for the taller trees because hopefully that'll get me out of the swamp. <laughs> so, I just keep placing my feet <laughs> and then suddenly the ground disappears. Um, this is much nicer walking. It's coming a little bit overcast now which is kind of nice because <laughs> that was hard work walking through that button grass swamp I think it was it was like each button grass was a, a little mound and then you'd fall off the button grass into the swamp and oh my gosh you just couldn't see where you're putting your feet yeah we'll just do an easy hike <laughs> oh dear <laughs> I need to do more formal trails formal trails that's what I say to myself every time and then every time I'm like ooh but look what look that's, that's so close to the trail it's only you know a couple of k's you know I'm just off track it can't be that bad <laughs> uh, when will I learn
Jeez. love the smell of eucalyptus. Mm. What a day. <laughs> I'm pretty tired to be honest. But I'm very, very happy with where I found a camp. I'm glad I did move on. I'm gonna do a bit of camp cooking tonight and for me the trick I don't know I haven't mastered camp cooking but for me the trick is to do as much as you possibly can at home before you get here and so what I've got in here doesn't look very appetizing but what I've got in there is onion garlic parsley cumin and paprika and olive oil so basically all I'm gonna do is just tip it in my pan and fry it up and I'm gonna make it like a shushuka It smells good. I'm a little bit grubby, but I'm very, very happy right now. It's... <sighs> Nature just recharges me. It just gives me this energy. It makes me... <sighs> I swear, if I come out and do a hike, maybe once a month, it just makes me so happy and it energizes me and makes me a better a person in my regular life. So. <sighs> I'm very, very lucky to have a partner that supports me to look after our daughter while I'm out and that's just not lost on me. Soon, soon we'll get on the family hikes. I can't wait to do that. Can't believe I didn't. <laughs> crush these guys on my walk. <laughs> All right.
happy with how this meal's turned out. It's um, I don't, I did all right. <laughs> sure, what that is. <laughs> the egg's really good. I thought for sure I'd burn the base, but it seems to be okay. Mmm, yum. This egg is just the best thing in the world. <sighs> it's too lime, it's it. I love lime, it's. The moon is just like this little tiny crescent. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Good morning. Um, I'm all packed up. It was a beautiful sunrise this morning. It started to get pretty windy, I guess, as the sort of the, the warm air and the cool air started to mix. So I've pulled down the tent and I'm gonna hit the trail nice and early. I think it's only like 7.15. Cleaned up my tent site. I've moved any of the rocks back to exactly where they were. I've cleaned up the area where I had my little fire. I've made sure it's completely out and dead and cold to touch. Scraped out the coals, cleaned them up a bit and just put a little bit of debris and leaf litter so that you know, in a couple of days time, you won't even know that I was here. So leave no trace. The plan for today is to keep following this cliff line sort of southeast-ish till I rejoin an existing trail. So it'd be nice to be back on trail. <laughs>
it's been pretty good going. A few little, you know, <laughs> crawling through burnt things. But I've just found this cute little stream here, a little waterfall. So I'm just going to stop and treat a bit more water and have a snack. This plant behind me here is blady grass and <laughs> anyone who's grabbed it will work that out pretty quickly. It's very sharp. It's like a little silica that can cut. It's, um, yeah, you do not want to grab a hold of it, but it's just like mat rush or lamandra and you can very carefully and preferably with gloves, you can pull out the sort of the leaves and the, the base of the leaf is edible. And so here's a mat rush. <coughs> It's um, sort of typical, it has this kind of cut off end parts and that one's not sharp and you can eat the leaf bases of that, it tastes like peas. The blady grass is kind of, doesn't really have a flavour. Once when I was walking here I stumbled across a group of guys and one of the blokes was looking pretty sad and he'd said he'd taken a fall and to stop his fall he'd grab the grass and it cut him to the bone and oh it just oh it just sounds like such a nasty injury so I'm always very aware when I'm walking past blady grass not to grab a hold of it because <laughs> it's pretty crazy stuff Check out this beautiful grass tree. <laughs> I'd love to know how old it is. It's quite tall. It's got a beautiful flowering spike. At the base after fires, there can be chunks of resin. Oh, here, see this stuff? And if you collect that and then melt it down, it's basically like super glue and it was used in you know, axe making and those sorts of things by the Aboriginal people. The flower spike can also be used to uh, create a friction fire. It's got a very low burn temperature, so it's really good for that. I've done that before using one from a garden, so please don't collect them from the wild. Uh, the other thing you can do is, just like the um, mat rush or the blady grass, you can pull out the, I guess, the leaves and then you can eat the a little bit of, I guess, fibrous stuff that's there. There's also what they call the terminal buds. So sort of in the top I don't know, 10 centimeters of the plant, there's like a, a, a starchy, starchy section, but obviously please do not do that because that will kill the plant to extract that. When the spikes in flower, you can collect the nectar from it and it's a very sweet energy rich drink. But these plants are so, so old. They're very, very slow growing. Uh, this one could be over 200 years old. It's very impressive. Christmas bells.
Alrighty, I am back on the fire trail. There's nothing quite like a good bit of bush bashing to make you truly appreciate a fire trail. <laughs> the mountains are so epic. I just love coming out here. I feel like I'm surrounded by good friends, you know, that you haven't seen for a while. As they appear on the horizon and get slowly closer and closer, it's just such a beautiful feeling. So now I'm just going to head north about three, possibly five k's back to my car. Thank you so much for watching. That was a lovely little hike. The weather was quite beautiful. We've had so much rain here. Uh, it's just so lovely to actually get away with possibly no rain. It might rain a little bit, but you know, it was nice to have clear night last night. It was just so lovely watching the sunset and then sitting on that cliff top this morning, watching the sunrise, just a real treat. And, there's some beautiful wildflowers out. <sighs> it's a good day. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers. She fell over.